as we head further and further into the 21st century, the way in which we grow our food is going to have to greatly change in order to meet the growing demands of the planet. One reason for this is the growing population across the world. Today, there are roughly 7.7 .7 billion people living on planet Earth. However, this is expected to grow to more than 9 billion people by the year 2050. This population growth will require that the world food supply will need to almost double within the next 30 years alone. One challenge is that the conventional way of growing crops is not really that efficient. It uses a staggering amount of land, fresh water, fertilizers, pesticides and human labor and in fact of all the fresh water consumed across the world, each year 70% of it is dedicated just to growing crops. Further, the amount of land required to grow the food we consume each year is also insanely large typically and throughout most of human history. Whenever we have wanted to produce more food, we simply cut down forests or ploughed more grasslands to make room for more farms. The issue here is that we are sort of running out of space available as of right now. We have already cleared an area that is roughly the size of South America to grow the necessary amount of crops that we consume across the world. Increasing the food supply through expanding available farmland is simply just not going to be an option in the future. Much of this is due to the fact that arable land or the land that is capable of growing crops is quickly disappearing. This can primarily be attributed to the effects of climate change over farming and soil erosion. These contributing factors over the past 40 years have led to the loss of one third of all arable land across the world. And all things considered, the earth could be in a pretty dangerous place if it cannot provide the nutrient-rich foods that we humans need to survive. In the very near future, in order to cultivate more food with less space, new approaches to farming will have to be used. We at Kryzen Biotech are trying to create global scale solution with hydroponics and vertical farming. We are already receiving some major success. Kryzen Biotech was started by two friends, Sudhir Devkar and Vishwa Pratap Singh in their shared flat in Bangalore by end of 2018. Now, Kryzen Biotech has grown into a sizable startup with 15 plus employees and delivery reach to 8 plus cities. Kryzen Biotech research goes back to 2018, where growing crops using minimum space, water and fertilizers was the goal. In 2019, we set up our first commercial farm. The farm was instant hit in community of growers and also grabbed attention of agriculture universities like Shivaji University to global agencies like AVF. With our very own unique design of the farm, we have developed the most cheapest and most successful commercial level hydroponic system. In just a period of one year, we are already working with big names in industry like Big Basket for their perishable veggies needs. As one of the early adopters of technology, and with our unique science and economic proportion of farming, we attracted a large group of people who wants to be associated with us via our initiative of digital learning. Kryzen Biotech is completely self-funded by directors and all growth is achieved by profits generated by the company. Hustle and speed is the core of Kryzen Biotech and we are constantly working to expand our reach from local farm to international nutrition food grower and supplier. Thanks for watching.